Hey everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer, and today we'll be talking about the Inno Tire Hold HD Loading Ramp. This is going to be an add-on accessory for your Inno Tire Hold bike rack. That way it makes it a lot easier to ramp up your electric bikes. This is going to be a heavy duty ramp, custom fit for your bike rack, so not designed to be used with other racks. Now while the ramp itself is 5 inches wide, the maximum tire width that you can carry with this is going to be up to 3.5 inches wide. And that's because of the cradle design of your bike rack. Now if you do want to use this, I do have to say that it cannot be stored on the rack itself. You're going to have to keep it somewhere in your car, in your vehicle, your trunk, or hatch. So double check if you do have space for this ramp. The height is going to be 49 inches and 5 16 of an inch long, so pretty much 50 inches, 5 inches wide, and this does weigh 5 pounds. To use the ramp, you first need to set up the bike rack. So go over to where your lever is, press the lever to double check that it is loose. You're then going to pull this tab here. The first time you use the bike rack, pulling this tab may be a little tricky, but it will loosen over time and be easier. Now once that tab is open, you can then flip this lever up and then remove this brace. So once the brace is removed, you can then push the entire arm down. Now this is going to drop down fast, so just be careful with it and set it down slowly. Once that's down, you can then grab your ramp and fit it onto the tray. Notice how our tray has these elbows. So then that way you can fit the ramp hooks up and over and just drop the entire ramp down. With it in place, it just stays like that. You don't have to adjust it or anything. All you need to focus on is rolling the bike down. From my experience with this ramp and with other ramps, I like how stable that whole experience is. I don't feel like my wheels are going to get stuck at any point along the sidewalls or that the ramp is going to move. I can just focus on making sure that my bike is straight and steady. You can use this ramp on whichever side you need it to be on your bike rack. And that's going to be good because maybe you're parked in a spot where there's more space on the passenger side than the driver's side. Or maybe you need to ramp your bike up by the front wheel because that rear hub is extremely heavy. Whichever need you have, it's nice to know that this is maneuverable as long as you follow the exact same process of removing that support brace. Since this is an add-on accessory to the Inno Tire Hold, you might be thinking, do I really need the loading ramp? And in some situations, you might not. In our situation here, because our bike rack is lower to the ground and because our bike wasn't that heavy, it's perfectly fine to not use the loading ramp. I am able to lower the side mounts to the ground and still sort of ramp the bike up and onto the rack. But if the bike was maxed out at 80 pounds and or if the bike rack sat higher up because our hitch sat higher up, that's when having a loading ramp like this would be super helpful in order to get it up onto the rack without having to lift all that weight. Hopefully this video helped you out in seeing how the ramp works as well as how to get it set up. I do like how you don't need to use any hardware or tools. All you need to do is lower the arms and then you're good to go. So you can find either the Inno Tire Hold HD rack or the add-on accessory ramp or both right here on our website. This was a look at the loading ramp for the Inno Tire Hold HD or the ramp for the Inno 122. My name is Evangeline and I hope you enjoyed the journey right here at eTrailer.com.